My name is Dean Gagliardato. I live in Prospect Heights, Illinois. Um, and this is my 1966 Ford F100 pickup truck. A friend of mine owned five of these. And when I saw his done, I thought, you know what? I'd love to have one. I'd love to put one together and make it better than his. I went to look at them and uh, I found this one. It was bad shape. That door was blue, this door was green, the front was smashed. Um, and I thought, here's a challenge. So uh, I went and made him an offer on it and he accepted the offer and the rest is history. Um, when I got it home, um, we took the doors off and the hood off and the fenders off and um, just, I was originally just gonna get everything back to red and white and maybe do some motor work and then once I got the hood off I thought you know what how much more do I have to go to do a complete restoration on it so I pulled the fenders off took the box off gutted the cab and decided you know what ground up restoration here we go my, my wife when we were taking this thing all apart she's a dental hygienist she was in the frame with her tools picking the red clay out of the frame and my three sons, Dominic, Dino, and Tony, have helped me a lot with this, just cleaning it and putting it back together and ideas of what, you know, maybe this pops, maybe that pops. But they all had a hand in getting this thing together with me, so I'm very grateful to them for that. When I got it, as most of these older cars are that sit for a while, there was a lot of mouse things going on in here. So um, I took the seat out and left it sit, and then I, everything in the instrumentation, the dash pad, everything in this cab is original. The seat frame, um, the headliner has the original cardboard headliner. I just decided to take it in and have it all redone and kind of modify it a little bit and, and, and modernize it a little bit with the uh, ultra suede interior. It's a 1969 Ford 429 engine built by Fast Times and Morton Grove. Jeff D'Augustino, great kid, built a great engine. The guy that I bought this from had a three, the original 352 in his. He pulled it out and put a 390 in, and I thought, when mine's done, I want to be able to beat him on the road. It's um, 420 horse, give or take a little bit. Big block Fords take a C6 transmission. I had Dean Cameron racing transits by DRC do my uh, transmission. I took the rear end of Strange Engineering, Strange went through and built me 31 spline axles and put a uh, Ford track lock in for the rear end, um, which is great, I love it. And then uh, for an exhaust, it's just, I've got Sanderson headers and uh, two and a half inch stainless all the way back. I saw Dave's truck, the guy I purchased this from, done. It was the stock Ford green from 66. It's kind of a turquoise green. And I wanted to go with something different, and I was driving one day and I saw a Ford Splash pickup. And it had this red paint on it that didn't look real good on the truck, but it was a good red paint. And I envisioned this truck with the moldings on it and the hood ornament, and I thought this and that color would just be stunning. So I chased the guy down on the tollway, and I stopped him and asked him for the color code of the paint, and he gave it to me. For tires, I've got BF Goodrich Radial TAs, and for the wheels, they're called smoothies. I kind of thought they went pretty well with the truck. There's not much better than getting in this thing and firing it up. When you hear the pipes, when you feel the power that it's got, you go down the street and everybody's giving you a thumbs up. It's, it's a lot of gratitude to know that after 10 years of sitting in a garage and a pile of bolts and pieces, to be able to put it back together and drive it and enjoy it and have other people enjoy it. It's, it's, it's very rewarding for me, and I love this thing. I love this truck. You know, there's, I think about doing all kinds of things to it, but everybody tells me, you know, it's not broke. Don't fix it, leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it just like it is and enjoy it. They were F100, F200, F300, 350s. Uh, this is an F100 custom cab, and what makes this truck a little bit more unique than any other one is usually the custom cab is a script on the door. Uh, the gentleman that bought this truck ordered the, the custom cab um, handle plates, which I've never seen another one like that. Custom cab also gives you separate instrumentation, oil, alternator, fuel, and temp, whereas the standard cab has just got one 
round gauge in the front with a, with a circular speedometer, the padded dash, uh, radio speaker, and the frosters. The other cab did not have that, the standard cab. There's, there's a lot of different um, Ford clubs out there that you can go online and they're great. You can ask, be a newbie and ask any question you want to ask and somebody's going to answer the question. Um, and I found that real helpful when I was putting this back together because it had been 10 years it was apart. I didn't remember where all this stuff went. I was pulling my, well I don't have any hair to pull out, but, um, th but there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, different clubs on, on the internet that you can join and they can answer your questions. Um, if, if anybody's thinking about doing this, about buying a car or a truck and restoring it, um, what I can tell you or advise is be patient, go slow, it doesn't happen overnight, and it costs a lot of money and a lot of time. Blood, sweat, and tears, that's what's in this thing, as with everybody that restores an old car or truck. Um, it's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work. To me, it's just the fact that I was able to take this thing down to nothing but a frame and put it all back together. I'm, I'm not a mechanic. I'm not a, you know, to, to be able to, for, for somebody to be able to take something like this and just rip it all apart and put a million different bolts and nuts in a bucket and 10 years later put it all back together and have this, it's, how do you beat it? You don't.